Okay, everyone, we're on T, T bands. Uh, we're doing the favorite bands A to Z thing, where each day I pick a favorite band and then a release by them for each respective letter. And also I do a runner up just because it's too hard to, to choose. And, uh, <laughs> and then I do honorable mentions because I don't want to forget anyone. There's just too much good music out there and this series proves that it's absolutely insane. Um, so for T, uh, there were about four really mighty ones and there's a few honorable mentions for sure. But uh, gotta go with my gut instinct. I'd kind of been, I would kind of be be lying to you all if I didn't choose these guys. Tragically hip. I wish I got into the tragically hip like when I was going to school and that. I got into them really late in the game, even though I had heard of them, um, and they're played on the radio, of course, in this country all the time. But uh, but yeah, I'm happy I got into them at all. And I uh, got to see them live once, uh, way back, about almost 10 years ago now. Um, that is really important to me, that I at least got to see them once. And uh, Day for Night is going to be the uh, the pick, as you can see. I always give that away. <laughs> I just hold up the release. This is my pick. And um, yeah, this one is definitely a little bit uh, kind of more nocturnal, like deals with heavier, heavier subject matter. Even though they had some heavy stuff before, like listen to Wheat Kings. But um, but yeah, it's definitely kind of a, a darker approach. Less catchy, less um, catchy riffs and stuff. Uh, the, the songs are all propelled by Sinclair's bass lines. And that's what really is kind of the roots of the record and holding everything together. And the, the guitar lines kind of weave in and out of that. Everything's kind of, like I said, darker and... Um, you know, it's not as immediate, but uh, it's a really fulfilling, challenging, and rewarding record. Um, but I could have easily picked Fully Completely, because that, again, is a 5 out of 5 star record as well. And a little more accessible, but just every bit is good. So, yeah. Big ups to the hip, and rest in peace, Score Downey, because, uh, man, your material, uh, you know, it keeps me going. It's great stuff. Uh, the runner-up band is going to be Talk Talk, who I have talked about uh, before on the channel, and uh, people really seem to like, uh, and I'm glad that, you know, everyone is able to, uh, you know, talk about their favorite Talk Talk albums and songs and all that kind of stuff. And they really, you know, th that band really make, means a lot to me as well. Um, I'm pretty sure when I was ranking the Talk Talk albums, that I picked um, Laughing Stock, but uh, just for the sake of um, giving this one its dues, because it's just every bit as good, I, I'll give it to um, Spirit of Eden this time as favorite release. Uh, yeah, I mean, this one, it flows. I mean, the rainbow into Eden and Desire, that could all be one movement, and it's absolutely incredible. Like, if you, if you place them all together, that's, you know, 20, 22 minutes, probably? I'm not sure how long the duration. I've never looked at the duration while this is playing, but probably 20 some odd minutes of just perfect music. And you know, they they were pretty much inventing a genre when this came out, you know? And uh, you know, they were kind of melding their their rock established sound even though they were more of a synth pop group, but they were kind of um melding rock with jazz almost. And you know, they did, they uh pretty much invented post rock which, um, you know, became the term. It wasn't an invented term when this came out. And then long after the band's demise, people started saying post-rock around, you know, 91 or somewhere in the 90s, maybe when Slint were, uh, were starting to gain some traction with Spiderland. But yeah, amazing record. I Believe in You. Like, wow, what a, what a song. And I th think, did Mark, he wrote that... Um, I think about his brother's death, so it, it's definitely heavy. Um, yeah, Mark Hollis, rest in peace. Um, just amazing music right there. That album never gets old, right? So, um, yeah, gotta give honorable mention shout out to Talking Heads. Absolutely love that band. Uh, Tame Impala, Team Sleep. Even though they only made one record, 
and a second one was supposed to come out, never did. Uh, the Tea Party, Templar, uh, if you know who they are, big ups to you. Uh, Temple of the Dog, again, one record, just like Templar and Team Sleep, but a really, really good one. Uh, Tool, man, yeah, Tool. <laughs> there, there's a pretty much flawless discography. Kind of a short one, but at least the albums are long. Uh, Treble Charger, Tribe Called Quest, of course. Uh, Turnstile which is definitely the newest band on this list. And, uh, oh my god, TV on the radio. I love TV on the radio. Uh, I really hope they come back one day. I would love to hear some new material. I, I did like that last one they put out. Maybe not as much as all their other releases, but it was still really cool. Um, so next time, tomorrow, we're going to do you bands. There aren't that many, spoiler alert, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what I pick. <laughs> I know what way I'm leaning on that one. Uh, yeah, so uh, let me know your favorite tea bands. Uh, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in another video. Thanks so much, everyone. Peace out.